Welcome to Max It Out PC TV. Hello, welcome to Max It Out PC TV. Today I have a gadget for you, and it's called the AMP. And AMP stands for Antec Mobile Products, which is their new line. Um, I'm going to come back to this in a second. What we've got to uh, test with, which I'm not going to test, I'm only going to test with one product, is the iPhone 5. Apple Mini um, 2, Samsung Galaxy Note 2, and the HTC 8X. Right, so I'm going to choose one of these four devices. They all got the standard 3.5mm jack connected to them. Now I'm going to do a quick unboxing of the device and what you get with it. Oh, it's called the AMP SP1, sorry. Ah, so in here you get 3.5 millimeter jack on both ends. One's um, input and one is output. So basically you'll connect, say a device like this, that'll be input and then the output will be into the speaker. So that's iPhone 5 and then the Galaxy Note 2, input, Output HCC 8X input and output and the tablet Apple Mini 2 input output. Alright, so you get your 3.5mm jack, you get a little miniature SP1 instruction booklet, let's put it aside, a little pamphlet there, what's that, uh, I suppose that's some sort of guarantee, yep, two year warranty from Antec you get with this as well, you also get a USB uh, connector and an input connector like uh, adapter for your speaker and you connect this into the speaker and that into your computer. So let's get the device out. Comes in a nice, nicely packaged box. And with little clips on either side. Oh, which I can't even open. Nice clear box. And there you have it. You've got the device, the SP1 AMP by Antec Mobile Products. You can see it looks like it's got a fluffy sort of red, um, sort of spongy grill inside looks like graphic equalizers going up and down on both sides you've got a plus uh, button here a minus button here minus button obviously to turn it down plus button to turn it up that button here in the middle is answer calls cancel calls and pair your device um, it's got a nice rubber feel to it it feels quite solid well made quite weighty as well it's also got the adapter connector here so you can connect this to your computer by USB to charge it up you've got the auxiliary port which is out and you connect it to we're going to pick the HTC 8X up and you connect it like that or the best bit of this is to connect it through Bluetooth. So we're going to connect this by Bluetooth and I'm going to go to my website on here if I can find it. Where are we? YouTube, where have you gone? Oh, you're at the bottom, isn't you? Right, so I connect to my device. Oh, we've also got to turn it off. Also, on this side here is a white light, and you hear that noise, doo -doo -doo -doo. that's to say that it's on and it's ready for action. Also, if it's red, that means the battery needs charging, um, and another white on flashing ongoing means that it's pairing devices. So, let's check it out. Uh, got to connect it by Bluetooth first. So, we go to settings. Where is settings on here? 
So we go to settings on my, uh, on my device and we're going to go to Bluetooth, switch Bluetooth on, pair device, hold this button down and it is active and you see that white light there and on the phone it will come up SP1 if you can see it. Now that means that it's connecting to tap to pair, so I'm connecting, as you can see, and you heard it go blah, blah. that means that it's connected, not connected, no it is connected, sorry, my voice and music. Right, so what we're going to do is, we're going to go to my website quickly, not my website, my YouTube channel, and we're going to play the intro music on there, so you can hear it come out through Bluetooth. One second, I'm not about to find it. Right, here we go. So, playing video. Where are we? Where's the play button? Right, playing video now, loading. And I think that's the way the speaker goes. So, I've got volume down, volume up. So, it's still got a white light on the side here, so it's all solid head. Right, and that is the speaker connected. And what I can hear from it, it sounds very, it's got good clarity on it, the SP1. Um, it feels nice, it's weighty. I suppose you could put it down like this. And play it so the music goes up. If you put it like that, then it'll be it'll come, it'll sound really muffled. But yeah, it looks like a very good design and stuff like that. And yeah, it connects all your devices so you can uh, watch your movies off your phone while streaming it Bluetooth by 10 meters away, so other people can watch it uh, and listen to it with a better sound. You can also play your games and get a better sound rather than off your phone. You could be outside as it's kind of summertime in England, well it's spring at the moment. Be outside, you can listen, everyone can sit around and listen to the, whatever you're doing with your uh, playing music or whatever. So, yeah, it's a really good device. It stores uh, 10 hours of uh, lifetime uh, battery on there. Uh, what else does this do actually? Uh, yeah, you can obviously phone up and listen, people can listen to your call so you can have like. Uh, people sit down and record chatting at the same time. Yes, yeah, it's 10 hours playback time. Uh, 10 meters away. Oh, the microphone. Yeah, that's it. That covers it all, I suppose. If you like my videos, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Also, I'm going to put a link in uh, the bottom of this video so you can check me out on Facebook. Uh, get the likes because there's going to be some pictures and a little bit more of a description of it. But yeah, thanks for watching Maxed Out PC TV. And thanks to Antec as well for giving me this sample to test and review on my YouTube channel. A very big thanks goes out to you, Antec. Thanks.